you're visiting Arizona, I recommend making the trip to Canyon de Chelly National Monument in the northeastern part of the state. One of the largest sandstone canyons in the United States, Canyon de Chelly is not only beautiful, it has a fascinating history that you can intimately experience by traveling with its modern day residents. Canyon de Chelly has been home to the Navajo since the 1700s, and prior to that, the ancient Pueblo people, known by the Navajo as the Anasazi. In order to enter the interior of Canyon de Chelly, a national monument that is supervised by the National Park Service and the Navajo Nation, you have to travel with an authorized guide. But this is a good thing. There's something really special about seeing the canyon with a guide like Lee Bigwater of Tutsani Ranch, who as a child spent his summers in the canyon. Hearing Lee's stories made me understand the strength and closeness of the Navajo community within the canyon. They were a, a, a hunting type of uh, you know, uh, people. So they, they hunt this canyon in this canyon. And then later on, corn and other vegetable were introduced to them. So they started farming in here. And then when the European came in, they started using the wagon to take their um, mohair, sheep wool, down to the trading post. And they use this road all the way down to the trading post. And sometimes it takes them two days. That was the way of travel in those days. The Navajo farmed and raised livestock in the canyon. Some Navajo continue this practice today. And Lee, what was it like for you growing up here? We came down here in the summertime just to help my mom and my grandmother, you know, herd, herd the sheep in the canyon. Early in the morning, you could hear dogs barking at the next camp and people talking. They were so close to, you know, across each other. You could hear the people chopping their woods and talking, laughing. So a, a nice community yeah. feel. Mm -hmm. We pass sheer red cliff walls, some of which reach a thousand feet high, making me feel quite small. The more, the more you go into the canyon, the higher the wall gets. Oh, wow. Pretty soon you'll feel like downtown New York. <laughs> With all the towns. Yeah. yeah. There are a variety of reminders of this area's interesting past within the canyon, including pictographs, petroglyphs, and the cliff dwellings of the Anasazi. Lee points out the ruins right in the middle of the cliff wall. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so, whoa. That's the ruins. That's great. That's much more than I thought it would be. Wow. Lee and I ride out of the canyon. I can't help thinking about how different environments shape our lives, about the Navajo, who still live and work here in Canyon de Chelly, and how my horse, Quarter Moon, is allowing me to ride here with Lee, and giving me a special glimpse into someone else's world. <laughs>